This is the original uh, three speed, 38 tooth gear, third gear. Here's the 36 gear, right, out of the three speed. And then the 38 tooth second gear out of the octane. So you can still find these, the original three speed gears, but they're, they're hard to find. You can order this octane gear but notice you notice the difference in thickness for where the uh, the clutch grabs and then the gears themselves you know the original one's a little thicker so but they both run on different bearings so this one the original like the savage three speeds got the the bearings they got the little lips on them and then the octane uses a a six millimeter bearing instead of the well it's slightly smaller so then the original bearing that uh, you normally see that sits on the outside like right there the octane uses a little one a little little one but in this case we need to add some shims these you can get uh, any transmission kit should have these these little tranny shims. I've already got one on there. Let's add another one. So there's four total on there. Put the little three speed back. So, as you can see, there's still quite a bit of play. Just gotta add more shims. But. Now, this is the first time that I've done this to the two speed itself, like the center shaft. Machine it down. So, this is with the Octane gear installed. There's... That's five shims. But, it sits where it needs to sit. So... But it's rough. So I need to take a shim out. In order for this to work, you're going to need um, these little shims, like I said earlier. I'm going to take one out. Slide the bearing back on. still rough so I gotta take <clears throat> gotta take another shim out but you see how first gear moves that's because I didn't machine I didn't shave it down far enough so that would be easy so pretty much with the shims in right there it moves so if I shave down this little lip to where it's even when you put your shims in there um, it'll butt up flush with the gear because you want your transmission to not move your gears inside of it to not you know all that slop in there because the stock trainees they have a lot of slop so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, machine that down real quick 
and get everything. So here it is. Got six shims in it right now. Notice the gear don't move. Alright. However, no back and forth movement, which is good. It's got that typical gear wobble in it, like they all have. They all do that. But, uh, doesn't spin super free, but that's because everything, once once you get it up to speed and it wears in, breaks itself in, it'll spin nice and smooth. Now, here is the HD version of the 1823 gear that you can get for the Flux. It'll work, but the problem is the gear mesh is too much. You got the standard 1823 right here. It's the same thing. It'll work. Gear's too much. So what you have here, 18 tooth from the three speed. 24 tooth from the original three speed. All right, now that, remember, it goes with the 38 tooth, third gear. <coughs> the three speed now comes with uh, 26, 36 gearing, and that won't work. And this is the Octane's 24 tooth. While it is a little thicker, you notice it doesn't have a slot for the pin because it, it's a gear that just sits in the middle and the pin slide through. So it won't work. So the 24 tooth from the original 3 speed is what you need. It's got a little pin. Goes across. These little spacers come from the octane. Right? But in order to do that you need the tranny. The tranny case. It comes with the tranny case. And then put them together. Now I'm going to have to adjust this. i got different length pins. But you see the, the, the gap? You're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to bring it in a little closer so these gears sit nice and even. Right. So, let me go adjust these pins. We should be good to go. So, here we have it mocked up. Right? I haven't shortened them yet. Okay? As you can see, I've got to bring the 18 tooth in. So to do that, you need to shave uh, those pins down pretty far. So see those the spacers in there? You're pretty much going to basically shave or cut it down to where you're just using that small little spacer. And then you will have enough room Uh, and there's where, all, where the gear sits on all of it. So, third gear, or second gear, sorry, sits flush with the gear. So, it's good. So, <clears throat> cut down uh, two out of the four. Um, but, it's pretty good. You're just gonna I'll have to get a final figure on how long to cut those little tat or the pins, but as you can see all the gears they line up pretty good. I'm gonna have to leave them a little longer than I thought, the pins, just so it matches with uh, the first gear nice and even. So the where is it? There's a thick one and then a bunch of thin ones. The thin one in there, you're going to need at least two of those thin ones. So this thick one, you're not going to need. So you need at least two of those thin ones. And other than that, I mean, it's, it's good to go. And when I'm talking about shimming too, that's what I'm talking about. See how it slides? Play some of those shims. There's some training shims in there. Some of these guys. Just at the uh, in between the gear and the bearing. 
and it'll uh, get that. You want these gears to be lined up as much as they can be. So and then when we uh, put the top on, everything looks it's good. It works. No movement. See down here it needs to be shimmed. This was my flux training. So, but as you can see, this is a uh, bulletproof. Well, bulletproof, you would need the uh, the hot racing steel gear, but those are super hard to find. Titanium ones, uh, they wear the gear wears. Creates fine metal shavings. Um, I do have the steel. I have two of them, but they're installed in trannies right now. But uh, as you can see, this allows you to keep the uh, idler and drive gears that come factory with the tranny, and you don't need to mess with them. Uh, if you were to use, I I know that I put out that uh, you could put use the three-speed uh, center shaft. I mean, you can, but all, basically what you're doing is you're just deleting the second gear. This here is actually using uh, all the two-speed parts with the exception to the Octane second gear and the three-speeds first gear and the original three-speeds third gear. Other than that, I mean, it's just a just a two speed easy day and of course it'll work so these are the uh, HD flux I learned drive gears you can use those too but they're thinner and I have noticed that they do wear and they wear quickly too so I don't I don't recommend those so it's either the uh, stock stuff uh, or you uh, you can use the uh, the Octane's gears. This is one of them. The other ones are installed. But it's a pretty much easy day.